What's going on, boys? You're the great way to go with your boat. Yes, sir. Guys, today's video, another Vicky Bang Bang. As usual, today's man, today's video, I want to give you guys the best tips and tricks to improve in Call of Duty Marvel 2. The best tips and tricks to help you level up your weapons faster. The best tips and tricks to help you, you know, win more gunfights. Just tips to help you improve in, uh, improve in Call of Duty Marvel 2 in general. All right, so without further ado, let's go get straight into it. Now, the first tip I want to give you guys is your settings, man. Get your settings right, bro. Even if you're a new player, maybe you haven't played the game yet, you just bought it, you're looking for the tips and tricks to, you know, to get you started. The best thing I can tell you, as soon as you open the game, man, get your settings right, you know? Find that sensitivity that works for you. Nothing too slow and nothing too high to where you're missing shots. Find that sweet spot for you. Um, I do have some settings videos out there if you guys wanna check out my settings. Maybe you wanna copy my settings from, like, to the T. If you wanna copy my settings, I do have settings videos out there. Links will be down in the description below. Or I have a card pop up on the screen somewhere around here, all right? but nonetheless man for sure get your settings right man graphic settings controller settings things like that now on to the next tip which is leveling up your weapon you guys gonna want to level up your weapon man when you're leveling up your weapon you earn the xp towards your main level and also you, you're probably unlocking camos unlocking camo is definitely not a bad thing to do you're just leveling up your weapon now if you want to know how to level up your weapon faster basically what you're going to want to do is either there's two different methods that i do i personally do but i'm pretty sure there's other methods out there if you just look on youtube there's pr there's probably a ton of them honestly because everybody's just using the same video for leveling up your weapon but basically what you want to do is uh you want to either go into invasion uh, which is basically a game mode, it's like a ground war uh, game mode basically. Go into invasion, uh, have your weapon, and then basically what you wanna do is you wanna shoot the enemy bots. Make sure you guys go inside of their spawn. You can kill the regular players too, but there's also bots on that team. So what you're gonna do is find a location in their spawn where not a lot of traffic is there, but there's definitely a bunch of bots. You wanna push in their spawn, uh, kill the bots. The bots give you the most XP. You, like I said, you can kill the regular players as well, but the bots is going to give you the most XP. It's going to give you the most experience. Now, uh, the best uh, method I can give you is to have the tag insurgent on as a, as a field upgrade. Tag insurgent and munitions box. You may run out of ammo, and the tag insurgent is just going to help you spawn in their spawn. If you die in their spawn, you just put that tag insurgent down, and you're going to spawn right where you put that tag insurgent down. Now, if you don't have the tag insurgent, uh, you know, as a field upgrade then you're just lost in that part. You're just gonna have to level up until you get that attack and surgeon. But 100% get attack and surgeon, go in your spawn, you know, find a secluded area and just start killing the bots. Like I said, you can kill the multiplayer uh, multiplayer players as well, but the bots give you the most weapon XP. And uh, as the game progresses, the bots are gonna start getting armor, which is why you have the munitions bots. You're gonna use more ammo to kill those bots. So of course the munitions bots are gonna give you the ammo you need to kill those bots. The second method that I do is I either play hardpoint or headquarters and I have decor grenades as my tactical equipment. And um, of course, you know, what you're gonna wanna do is throw the decor grenade like the middle of the map or throw it inside the headquarters, throw it inside the hardpoint. And anybody that may, on, a, on an enemy team, anybody that looks at the decor grenade, you're gonna get points for a decoy distraction, um, de decoy distraction, you're gonna get points for that. Also, and if you, if a, enemy gets killed by your teammate while the decor grenade is like near the enemy or whatever you're also going to get points for that for helping your teammate get that kill you know it's going to be like a decoy assist or something like that it's going to those points are going to stack up the more you know decoys you throw you know in the hard point headquarters where the case may be your teammates get those kills or enemies just look at the decor grenade it's going to help level that weapon up for you all right that's the second method that i do whenever i get tired of invasion i just go to multiplayer hard point headquarters and i level up my weapon that way using the decor grenades all right but that's how you level up your weapon and leveling up your weapon is going to unlock attachments to make your weapon even better and to help you fit your play style. You know what I'm saying? So 100% leveling up weapon is definitely, definitely crucial. Now that leads into the next tip that I have for you guys is to create your best class sub is getting your classes right, man. You don't want no crazy class setup. You, got, you need the right attachments and nothing that's just, just too much. You know, let's say you got a, let's say you got a scar H and you got like a, a sniper scope on it. What's the point of that? If you're playing point, if you're playing multiplayer, you know what I'm saying? What's the point of that? It's just that's a crazy class setup, you know. Find a class setup that you know really fits your your play style, you know what I'm saying? Maybe suppressor with a nice barrel on it. If you want iron sights on it, cool. If you need an optic, run like you know, a red dot or whatever. You know, you want to make attachments make your weapon better. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's basically what you're uh, level up your weapon for. Get the best attachments for your weapon. It's just gonna help your uh, you know, your weapon succeed more and fit your play style. So 
100% get those classes right. And by all means, I have a ton of class setups on my channel and I'm gonna have some of my best class setups on the screen right now to show you guys what I've been using recently and what I find the best uh, for me, you know, playing a game and leveling up my weapons. These are the best weapons that I, I, I like a lot. Now on to the next tip, which is utilizing the firing range implemented in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now in Modern Warfare 2019, they didn't have a firing range, but in Modern Warfare 2, they have a firing range where you can put on your attachments and test out your gun. So once you unlock those attachments, you know, from leveling up your weapon or whatever case like that, 100% go into the fire range and see how see how you like it check the recoil see if you hit more shots see if you hit less shots you know what I'm saying let's see if the ADS speed is to your liking 100% use the firing range to your advantage to get that class set up right before you hop into the multiplayer invasion ground war wherever you're going to war zone wherever you're going to make sure you guys check out that fire range and use it to your advantage all right it's only there to help you man use it now on to the actual gameplay aspect of the tips now first tip I can give you is to stop rushing bro i understand you know a lot of people can't just sit there and sit back because i can't do it either i really can't but best thing is to do is to not rush bro slow the pace down i can tell i can see if you're like you know you're running like as soon as you spawn you're running just straight through the middle that's that's not that's not good you're probably going to get taken out by somebody sitting on the outskirts of the map ads in the, around a corner or something like that because a lot of people do play like that bro don't get me wrong a lot of people play like that but you got to slow the pace down check your corners things like that just slow the pace down bro if you're doing all that rushing and stuff you're going to get punished in this game all right this game is uh is, it doesn't have the movement like model for 2019 it doesn't have the slide canceling the sliding on this game they have sliding on this game but it's definitely not as like smooth and stuff like that in the model for 2019. So 100% slow the pace down, bro. Check your corners, things like that. Check your mini map, all that good stuff. Just slow the pace down. The next tip I can give you is to ADS around your corners. Now, there's a lot of attachments on this game that make your weapon, that puts down the ADS speed. It like damn near every attachment on the game puts down your ADS speed. I don't like it, but it's, it's there, you know what I'm saying? So um best thing i can tell you is to ads around your corners now either you don't have the uav up or if somebody has ghosts and they or they probably got dead silence they could be coming around the corner and you're coming around the corner at, at the same time if you have your sights up before like while they're running before you go around the corner if you have your sights up ads around that corner is going to be very crucial because you can catch somebody definitely off guard if they do got dead silence or ghosts you catch them off guard while they're running trying to get to the door and they don't know you're there you're ads already you already have your gun up all you gotta do is just shoot they're they're running you know what i'm saying they have their gun up and for the time for them to you know stop running ads and like i said the ads speed in this game is pretty damn slow you're gonna win that gunfight nine times out of ten you know what i'm saying so for sure 100 percent make you guys ads around corners it's gonna help you it's gonna benefit you're gonna benefit from it a lot just ads around corners and that's just like a you know a traditional call of duty uh tip that a lot of people should know and but a lot of people don't so you know if you guys know somebody's around that corner or you just don't know maybe all your teammates is like you know on a whole different side of a map and you're on that side by yourself more than likely they're probably spawning like around you if nobody's on that side of the map you know what i'm saying but for sure ADS around corner is definitely not a bad tip to have your arsenal so ladies and gentlemen please ADS around those corners all right next tip i want to give you is to aim higher now a lot of people uh this is something that i actually struggle with i'm not gonna lie Aiming higher is basically you, you're you putting your crosshairs, you want to be able to aim chest up. Chest up, right? If you're aiming chest up, you're putting the most amount of damage in your in the enemy. You're putting the most amount of damage in the enemy. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, probably aim like maybe freaking knees up or whatever case may be. Or if you're looking down, you don't want to be looking down. Aim higher. And that's another thing, another tip I can give you guys is crosshair placement. Cro place your crosshairs. Basically what crosshair placement is, place your crosshairs you know where the enemy may be or where you know let's say you're going around the corner and uh there's some stairs behind uh like around the corner or whatever if you're going to aim on top of those stairs you're already got your your crosshair place where enemy could be at and if they're there all you gotta do is you know if you're ads around the corner literally all you gotta do is shoot but if you're not ads around the corner at least you got your crosshairs there to you know be prepared if somebody is there you just ads fire at them they're dead you know what i'm saying but aiming higher is going to benefit you because you're putting the most amount of damage in your opponent aiming chest up you get those chest shots and if they hit you a little bit you might get a little recoil and it might go to some headshots 
Easy headshot. You know headshots is probably the most the most damage you put in this game. So aiming higher is definitely gonna benefit you. And this is something that I truly struggle with. Sometimes I just aim I be aiming at probably nuts or they butt, something like that. <laughs> or like their legs, and like sometimes I'll just probably move up to the chest or head. But I do struggle with that from time to time. But I am learning. I'm I'm learning just as much as you guys, right? Now the next tip I can give you guys is to use the best kill streaks and best field upgrades to help you guys win the game, help your teammates, you know, give your teammates intel, things like that. Use the best kill streaks and field upgrades to help you improve. Now, I'm, I do have a video on the best field upgrades and the best perk packages as well. So, if you guys want to check that out, by all means, it's there for you. But for the kill streak aspect, I feel like you should use the best kill streaks that are there to help you and your team. And those best kill streaks, in my opinion, are probably UAV, uh, counter UAV to block off, you know, the enemy radar where they don't they don't have any information where anybody's at. Um, you know, things like that. UAV, counter UAV. If you want to run support kill streaks, maybe you're an above average player, or you're you know you got some type of game sense, FPS game sense. You can get kills. UAV, you know, you can use the U UAV if you want, VTOL, Overwatch Heli, uh, Chopper Gunner, Stealth Bomber, Gunship, Advanced UAV, Juggernaut, you know, if you definitely want to try to get those, by all means, do it, bro, if you can do it, you know what I'm saying? But if you're, you know, if you're not that good of a player, you want to try to get some things to, you know, help your team out, you can use UAV, UAV is like four kills, or if you're a player that can't really get kills like that, you can definitely switch it from kill streaks to score streaks at the bottom, if you guys don't know that. All right, if you guys uh, basically kill streaks, score streaks, kill streaks, you get kills to earn it, and score streaks, you get scored to earn it. Like maybe you're playing the objective, hard point, kill confirm, things like that, headquarters, things like that. Getting um, getting scores gonna help you earn those uh, those score streaks if you're a more of an objective player. So you can definitely be able to change that at the bottom left there. But you know, UAV, counter UAV, care package, precision airstrike. Those things are definitely going to help your team win. If you're playing hard point, you put a cruise missile on top of the hard point, clear it out, things like that, you know. Use the best scroll streaks to, uh, you know, help you win the game. Now, onto the field upgrades. I do have a uh, video on the best field upgrades. If you guys want to check that out. But definitely use the best field upgrades. That's going to help you, you know, have an advantage in the game. You know, maybe uh, munitions box to run out of ammo. Dead silence to get in their spawn, flank behind them. You know what I'm saying? Uh tactical camera if you're watching a bomb at a at search and destroy whatever the case may be pull the radar if you're on the street if you want to put it in the corner somewhere to watch a certain area things like that use the best field upgrades to help you fit your play style try to use almost every single one and whatever you find you know the best that helps fits you by all means do that now the next tip that i have is to use your mini map bro this is one of the most crucial like advices i can give to anybody is to use your mini map now, I don't know, if, like, if you guys watch my videos, during uh, videos, I always, like, try try to take, like, a little quick glance. I'm always looking at the left, like, the top left of my screen and take a quick glance at the mini-map. Don't stare at your mini-map. You don't got to stare at it for, like, five minutes, bro, you know? Even taking quick glances at the mini-map causes me to die because Call of Duty timing in this game is crazy. I don't know if I'm the only person that experienced that, but as soon as I stop looking somewhere, that's when the enemy come and fire me up. Or as soon as I, as soon as I'm looking at an area, right, I'm looking at an area, I take a look at my mini map. As soon as I look at my mini map, I get fired up. I don't, I don't know if I'm the only person that experiencing that, but definitely, you know, take your time when you're watching your mini map. Take quick glances at it to get some type of intel on where your teammates are at or where the enemies are at. If there's a UAV up, definitely pay attention to your mini map. Definitely, if there's a UAV up, 100. But even if there's not a UAV up, pay attention to your mini map because it gives you more intel than you think. You know, what I'm saying maybe your teammates are like all in a one certain area. And that could mean like, you know, the enemies could be spawning on the other side of the map. Or, you know, if uh, let's say you're all on the other side of the map by yourself and your teammates are on the, all the way on the other side of the map, they're like probably trying to push through the middle. That basically means you're probably in the enemy spawn. There could be somebody near. Just be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, only thing is that on the main map this year, uh, I think it's been like that in the previous years, but. Basically, if you fire your weapon without a suppressor, you're still not going to pop up on the minimap. But if there's a UAV up and you don't have a suppressor on your weapon, you're going to pop up on the minimap. That's the only way you're going to pop up on the minimap if you don't have a suppressed weapon and um, and you're firing when there's a UAV up. You're going to pop up on the minimap. So 100%, you know, make sure you guys check your minimaps, man. Check it, please. Just take quick glances at it. You don't have to, have to uh, you know, take like a whole hour to look at it and analyze everything. Just by all means... Just take quick glances at your mini map so you can understand, have more map awareness, understanding where your teammates are at and the enemies could be at. You know what I mean? Now, on to the last tip of this video is to subscribe, bro. I'm giving you guys the best tips I could possibly get as a player that's been playing Call of Duty for 
a probably like 11 plus years i know and understand a lot about the uh you know the call of Duty community and how people play and how the game works things like that i do understand a lot and i'm here to give you guys you know the best classes tips you know funny videos funny moments i'm here to give you guys the best content i could possibly can so 100 percent if you guys are looking for more tips and tricks and want to get uh, better at the game improve your gameplay give you guys you, the best class you're looking for the best class setups subscribe to the channel it's definitely not going to hurt you all right but that's the video man the best tips to improve in call of duty Modern warfare 2 best tips to level up your weapon fast in call of duty Marvel 2 the best tips to help you go crazy in call of duty my what all right, nonetheless, man, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Turn a post notice in the next video. Stay blessed, stay great, but great. I'll see y'all boys in the next one, man.